Hey guys, it's Nada Khan. I'm back with another video. So today is a video on why your drawings might look so stiff. And I've been getting this request for the past two or three years. And however long, how many years I've been on YouTube of getting this um, request. A lot of people think I do dynamic poses. A lot of times I don't do dynamic poses. If you want someone who would teach you dynamic poses, I have a link to another YouTuber. Uh, his name is White Manga or Dunze. He, he shows you foreshortening, perspective, all that good jazz. Something I can't really show you right now. So I will put the link to his channel down in the description box below and link to like a couple of the videos of his. So yes, let's um, get into why your poses are so stiff. So yeah, so I guess when people do talk to me about drawing different poses and how their art comes out uh very 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 extremely stiff i'm really thinking that they're talking about something along like this along this line or let's just see if we can if we can draw this person in one go well, well i can but still I draw them as stiff as i i can't possibly can right now Oh, this is difficult. Um, I'm thinking. All right. So I'm 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 guessing something along this route or stiffer. <laughs> uh, so mind you, we all we all. We all have like a stiff pose somewhere in our sketchbooks now and then. Uh, I have stiff poses that I have uh, now and then. But well, I will further go in detail on what you should keep in mind when you do actually start drawing figures and poses and stuff like that. But I th honestly think that the how to draw books has messed everybody up because I honestly I'm guilty of it too and I do apologize because I do have tutorials up but as artists we all learn and grow so I hope you guys are here <laughs> hope you guys are here with me I honestly think I think the stick figure method is great um for people who just started drawing but are absolutely horrible for people who've been drawing for quite some time and get the concept of like where your joints and your legs and everything goes so here and here's an example and like I said the balls actually represent joints um I don't know what that I don't know what that's supposed to be man um guessing it's your pelvis but I don't know who pelvis looks like that I will continue to keep going um so here we go and yes so, um, sorry, I, I, by habit, always curve the spine, so excuse me for that one. But th this right here is not, that's not, that's not cute to like, <laughs> yeah, this right here is really, is, this right here is very stiff, and I'm not gonna lie, a lot of it comes from the spine, because our, our spines aren't stiff. If, we, if you were to make a pose like this, in real life, your spine would not look like that man like your spine would not be that stiff your spine would do some 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 real major curvature see your, your spine would do some major curvature and we'll, we'll talk about the pelvis later okay yeah your my your spine would do some major curvature see that that looks a lot less stiff compared to to this no no so i've learned to actually stop doing the stick figure method because I didn't understand the basics and from there it was only hurting me at that point so um, I honestly think that some sometimes you guys should try something like um, gesture drawing and yeah you guys should try different things such as gesture drawing I just started getting into gesture drawing about a month ago <laughs> um, and it has helped me out tremendously it keeps me from making super super stiff poses and so I am actually going to draw this character on the other side, but the same pose, but, but kind of different. So 
keep in mind that when realistically no nobody is going to sit here and stand stand like this some people might um most people won't a lot of the times you apply pressure on one leg and that's usually what I do I always like stand on one leg it's really weird to ask me especially if I'm standing for a long time um so I will show you how this goes so we can draw the same character mind you I don't have like little to no space um the same character and what I do is a lot of times I draw basically bubbles for the uh, for the chest and body and also this this really curved line and I've actually learned that's called the line of action <laughs> the this is actually called the line of um, action which is basically that it's like a, an imaginary line that runs through the spine and it can actually help you a lot with uh, your poses on and how not to make them very stiff and I'm just gonna do a couple like things I learned from the stick figure method here so you guys can actually um kind of I want to say so you guys can actually you know keep up a little bit so yeah and instead of having these like arms down like n nobody's gonna stand like this we're gonna have the arms crossed it's a lot it's a lot more realistic yeah you, you see how that looks a lot different than this one like this is a lot less this is a lot less stiff than this and that especially that I wish I didn't even drew it like I wish I didn't even draw it so once we go in with the with the flesh <laughs> everything is a lot less stiff a lot more realistic and you can actually believe that this you can actually believe this is actually a person just 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 by the way they're just they're standing their, their butts a little tooted out but that's fine <laughs> just by the way they're standing so keep in mind like I said before um, you can tell which leg has the pressure applied on it and it is actually it's this one it's this, it's this leg this one's kind of relaxing over here this leg has the pressure over here just keeping those really simple details in mind can take a front facing drawing from looking very stiff to looking like it has some personality to it and I think this is where characters actually do come into play because having different characters with different personalities can actually help you draw different poses. You don't have to always put them in the same pose. Based on their personalities determines the poses that they're going to use. It, it kind of makes you think about poses in a way. It's kind of like an exercise. That's why I say characters do come in handy a lot of the, a lot of the times and diverse characters come in handy a lot too. I'm going to do one more pose and slowly talk to you guys about um, your drawings and such. So I want you guys to not think, don't think too hard about the, um, the pose in general. Get that um, initial the the initial idea that you're that you're trying to get down in the first place and like I said before spines aren't stiff <laughs> don't 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 draw a stiff spine and also when you do draw you might want to try try your best to uh, reference reference different try to reference different poses and when you do so try your best to speed up draw a little faster than you did before because I remember when I first started drawing and it took me about 10 minutes to actually to draw a pose like it, it took me literally 
literally 10 minutes to draw a pose now um i i can draw one with with no problem it, it doesn't take that long <laughs> and just keep in mind that the pose that you make does not have to be perfect uh you practice 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 makes um perfect to me i, I would say practice makes progress I, I wouldn't say perfect so just continue just continue to practice uh keep in mind the stuff that i did share with you guys today um i know some of it might have not been as helpful or you wanted an in-depth tutorial i can't really do too much of an in-depth tutorial this is pretty much the most i have to offer as far as you not being you not creating very extremely stiff poses um like i said before practice a lot i have references on my instagram for you guys to follow uh pro some of them have been getting stiff over the past couple months because i have not been drawing the way i usually do so please i do apologize for that but there are a ton of um there are a ton of gesture references that you guys can look up on google the internet is at your fingertips all the information that you need is pretty much out there um but hopefully this video is a little easier for you guys to digest um stay away from this please stay away from that that that's an abomination right there that that that's an abomination that that's all i have to say like put in the comment box stick figure method is an abomination like it, it is so hopefully this helped you guys out and i will talk with you guys in the next video bye